We hardly knew you, Windows 8.1. You tried so hard to fix what people hate about Windows 8 by bringing back the start button and barely improving the user's experience. But it was little too late. From low market share to people sticking with Windows 7 and some even skipping you, Windows 8.1 and jump shipping to Windows 10 in 2015. Like, how on earth did we get from this to that? And why do many apps run in full screen? Like, come on, a full screen calculator app just to do simple calculations on my PC? Well, that's what this video is all about. We'll be going over many development builds of Windows 8. So, without further ado, let's start. So here we are, this is build 7700. The first available build of Windows 8 to be leaked. Right off the bat, this build looks identical to Windows 7 RTM. Except that the default wallpaper is a bad office, and we have a build tag in the bottom right corner. Since this is an early build of Windows 8, I was only able to find two features in this build. First being Internet Explorer. This build features a preliminary version of Internet Explorer 9, but it calls itself Internet Explorer 8. If we open up the developer tools with F12 key and we go under browser mode, we have Internet Explorer 9. When we click on that, this is what Internet Explorer 9's rendering mode looks like. So let's go ahead and visit some websites, shall we? So let's go to Bing.com and see what it looks like. Or not. Here it is, this is Bing.com. Now, if we open up the developer tools and then click on browser mode and click on Internet Explorer 9, this is what it looks like. Yeah. This is a oversimplified version of Bing.com. We have Bing and weird boxes everywhere. And this is Bing.com in Internet Explorer 7. Internet Explorer 8? Oh. Okay, well, apparently it's broken now. In Explorer 7, in Explorer 9, and uh, oh great, I broke in Explorer. Nice work. Well, anyway, let's move on. The last, well, quote unquote, new feature in this build is with Group Policy Editor. So we, if we open up Group Policy here, right click on Administrative Templates and go to Filter Options. Then check Enable Requirements Filters and then scroll down and look at that, we have the Windows 8 family and Group Policy. Checking this filter doesn't appear to change anything. So that's pretty much a, either a placeholder, filter, or something like that. And that's the noteworthy features in build 7700. Now, we're going to be taking a look at build 7779. That is a lot of sevens. So I have inserted the build 7779 ISO and we're going to perform an upgrade to the next build. As you can see, setup looks remarkably identical to Windows 7 setup. So let's go ahead and skip to the interesting part of this build of Windows 8. So here we are, this is build 7779 and I don't want to type a product key in. Uh, ask me later, and I do live, well, I don't live in Pacific time, but whatever. And I'm going to log in real quick. Um, oh, okay. So my desktop window manager crashed. So I guess we won't get those error effects. All right. Oh, what do we have here? We don't have the beta fest anymore. We have the... Let's not leak our hard work. With a giant asterisk saying, This development build is for internal Microsoft development use only. Unauthorized distribution, use, or disclosure of its pre released software will be considered a violation of company policy and your employment agreement and will result in disciplinary actions up to and including termination of employment in the case of employees termination of assignment or contract in the case of contagious staff and potential civil and criminal liability. You got that right? 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 
I'm sorry, Microsoft, but unfortunately, this build got leaked. Hoorah! Well, let's take a look at what's new. So, well, we're in Windows 7 Basic because apparently my video card dropped across. But, anywho, we have a, uh, a new status bar here with the view options here, all that stuff. So far, it mean, looks kind of the same. But in Minver, we have this big old red text saying same thing for my wallpaper. So the first feature that was improved upon from the different builds back then was multiple taskbars on multiple monitors. So let me go ahead and switch my monitor mode to extend. And as you can see, on my left monitor, we have a blank taskbar. If I want to open up an application here, it looks fine here, but if I move it here, you notice that we have Explorer here. But if I minimize it, it goes to that corner here. So I can like have multiple windows here. I can drag one here. Oh, that's a weird bug. Um, well, you get the idea. So I have my gadgets here. I can move it to this side. Boom, there you go, it's visible. And then move it back here. Boom, you get the idea. Since we have individual taskbars, we can move one of the taskbars. So for example, on monitor two, I can have it on the top here, and on my main monitor, I can have it on the bottom. Or if I wanna go insane, I can have it like that. So we can have, yeah. So that's a quick look at the multiple taskbars on multiple monitors feature in this build of Windows. Next, we're gonna take a look at the new feature in File Explorer itself. You may already notice already we already have the new status bar here. But what we're gonna do is we need to add a new registry value in XT Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Current Version, and Explorer in advance. Now we need to add a new D word value that is apparently called Ribbonize Me Please. And then we need to set the value to 1. Then, if we open up Fire Explorer, oh, look what we have here. We have so many tabs for the ribbon. So, yeah, if you've used Microsoft Office 2007, the ribbon interface look oddly similar to that. And you may be asking, do all of these buttons work? Answer is no, they don't. They don't work. Those are just placeholders. Like why, why, like, why, why would we have picture tools in the C drive? And why do we have the recycle bin tools in the... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> but yeah, this is the ribbon you want here. Nothing works, unfortunately, but you get the idea. Lastly, I don't know if this considers a feature or not, but... When you log in to your computer, for a brief second, you... Well, apparently DWM crashed, so let me fix that. We get this launcher that is in full screen mode. You cannot really do anything about it because, well, it's nothing. But this supposed to be, well, the start screen, but there's nothing there. And we have the gradient background. So yeah. Now, how did I enable that? I use a third-party tool, it's called Redlock, to enable this hidden feature. Now, I want to show you something that's interesting. If we go to Personalization, go to Desktop Backgrounds, we can uh, check the show desktop background images on the login screen. So if I were to like lock the computer... Well, apparently it didn't work for some reason. I wonder why it did not work. So apparently, the option to have your desktop wallpaper as your login screen doesn't work in this build. Which is sad, but if it does work, I would be glad to show you. Alright, so I have error working now in this build. So, remember about the whole launcher screen? If we press the Windows key again, apparently if you have any Windows open, and one of them are active, you get a, an image of what your active window looks like. So that's my file explorer. And if I were to click on my desktop, 
have my desktop as the, you know, thing here. Well, right now, this doesn't even serve a purpose. So, that's only for looks. Last but not least, in this build of Windows 8, you can mount ISOs to your computer, which is apparently called Microsoft VXD HBA. And there it is. There's our ISO. It can mount the ISO and it works as expected. Oh great, now I have two DVD drives. Yeah, cool. That is the uh, noteworthy features in this build of Windows 8, aka build 7779. Next, we're going to take a look at build 7814. So apparently I've been sitting here on the screen for 15 minutes and apparently we have nothing. Uh, well, it's time for me to troubleshoot this thing. So here we are, I have to boot into safe mode with command prompt because it turns out I need to disable my graphics adapter. Here we are on our desktop and right off the bat, we got a different wallpaper because the unauthorized use disclaimer here has been added to the desktop version or the build number, whatever you want to call it thing. As you can see on the bottom right corner, we have the, your, you know, your user settings here. So from here, I can go to my settings and I can go ahead and change my look, I'd say. Let's change it to that. And there you go. That's my new profile picture. And unfortunately, as you can see here, our ribbon has vanished because the ribbon is now a blocked feature. What we have to do now is we need to run red pill. All right. After taking that red pill, we can see a very, very, very basic uh, start screen. As you can see, it's pretty basic. You cannot really drag. You can't right click and all that stuff. But you can click on said things. For example, like jump up calculator. There you go, there's calculator. And now we click on the start button here. It is now binded to the mixer start. And here we are, we have the search there. So let's search for calculator. And there you go, there's calculator. Press enter, boom, there's calculator. Remember about the wallpaper being shown in our lock screen thingy? All I need to do is I can just lock the PC. And there we go, we got the my wallpaper as part of my lock screen this time. All right, another noteworthy feature added to this build of Windows 8 was the new task manager, which looks like this. This is a, a primitive task manager or modern Windows task manager. So as you can see here, I can look at the services here, all that stuff, and the Windows process here. Apparently every thing is on idle for some reason. So that's the programs. Next is the startup tab. And as you can see, we have VMware tools, but I can go ahead and disable that and enable like that. And we've got the users, and I can go ahead and disconnect myself if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So that is a closer look at the new task manager. Next, there's a new app dedicated for PDF viewing, and it's called GLCND, which is actually called Reader. Now, you may be asking to yourself, that's a nice app, we're reading nothing. Well, yeah, because we don't have a PDF loaded there. So, in order for the uh, PDF view to work, we need to type in this program here, and then drag and drop your PDF in here. So, we have the PDF viewing application, the reader app, followed by the PDF you want to open. Click OK, and there you go, there's your... PDF and to scroll you have to use your mouse or you can use the scroll wheel or you can use the page down or page up keys and all that stuff. Next we're going to be taking a look at a new app which is called Webcam. And this is what it looks like. This time it takes up the whole screen and unfortunately I don't have a camera connected to my computer so I cannot really demo this to you. Last but not least, there's a thing called Sys Reset. Rex, 
uh, which stores the computer. But I'm not going to do that. The next feature we want to take a look at is the colors from theme. So you know how my background colors like blue and with a little shade of green, right? Would it be awesome that if we have multiple wallpapers, right? And if in the wallpaper change, you want your glass color of arrow to also change too? Well, in this build, you can do that. But we need to modify our theme file, which we can do that by going to Windows, Resources, Themes, and there's the arrow file, in which we need to add Auto Colorization 1 under Visual Styles. So if I go to Personalization, there it is. We've got the Windows 7 with a, um, a color wheel thing. If I click on that, you'll notice that my arrow glass color changed to the color of the background. So if I were to select all photos here, and then right click on my desktop and click on new desktop background. Look at that. My glass color changed accordingly to the color of my wallpaper. Looks pretty nice. And it happens so seamlessly too. Last but not least, there's a new applications folder, which and putting that weird string into a folder, clicking on it, we can see all of our installed applications on this computer. As you can see, they don't even have an icon. It's normal, but, and they don't open for some reason. Because this is actually used in the make sure start menu, you can see here. And last, last but not least, if we go to this view here, we can drag this thing. Um, you can drag this thing around and... Uh, it looks like you can dock it somewhere. I don't know what this feature actually does, but... You can drag your desktop and... You can do that or that. That's pretty much it. And before we move on to the next build, if we hold down the Windows key and C, we get a primitive charms here. Max. All the buttons doesn't work. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, that wraps it up for build 7814. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at build 7878. So here we are, we're on build 7878. And right off the bat, it looks similar to the last build. But if we open up the start screen, it looks a little different here. You may notice that we have like colors to applications now you can drag this thing here and you can again open it to your heart's content but also you can right click on an app and then you get options like move to other view select move calculator to the other view oh that doesn't work we can open we can open the file location which causes an explorer by the error Okay, how about print the taskbar? Apparently print the taskbar doesn't work. How about run as an administrator? That doesn't work. Let me guess, uninstall calculator doesn't work. <laughs> and besides, well, it doesn't do anything, but yeah. You can also search for something. So like if I type in C or calculator, there you go, there's calculator and you can open it right there too. The charms bar is broken in this build. That's nothing on it. And the last noteworthy feature added to this build is pattern passwords. So if I go to my settings here, we have a new option after doing the whole registry thingy. We can set up a pattern. So we can do this. And it doesn't matter what order you do it, but... Oh, and as you can see here, we have, well, somewhat of what we have on Windows 8 uh, lock screen here. But apparently the whole pattern password option isn't there. But yeah, there you have it. That's build 7878. Now, we're gonna take a look at build 7899. Oh, what do we have here? We got a different 
installation window for the first time in a couple builds. And of course, I need to type in the product key. Watch this agreement. And then I can keep user accounts, first files and programs. And there we go. We have all the information we need and click install. Oh, problem occurred. Windows 8 installation has failed. All right. Well, we have to do the install differently. Fix. Ah, uh, it, it looks the same. So let's go ahead and skip to the desktop. So here we are on build 78.99 and right off the bat we have a different lock screen picture. So let me go ahead and log in and see what's new. Right off the bat, you just saw... Oh, okay. Well, right off the bat, you just saw a weird animation and there's our start screen. And it will show up every time you log in. And this particular start screen is buggy. Because apparently you have to wait like 30 seconds before you do anything for some reason. And you may notice that the image doesn't fit on this 1920 by 1080 monitor. And as you can see, you just saw that animation. There's animations in this build. So let's move on to the noteworthy features in this build. And I, I'm already logged in. Hey, hey, hey. The first thing is we have, well, Internet Explorer 9. And as you can see, it looks like Internet Explorer 9. There it is. It's Internet Explorer 9 beta. And with the inclusion of that particular version of Internet Explorer 9, there's also a Metro version of Internet Explorer 9. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Well, um,. Yeah, here's some hats. So that's pretty nice. And yeah, for some reason, it this tends to happen where <laughs> blue screen apps just goes berserk. Apparently, uh, there are some gestures added to this build. So, I mean, I don't have a touch screen monitor to demo that, but I can use my mouse. So if I were to go to the right side of the screen, and drag it out. As you can see, we have the charms. So I can click start. There's Rix, which doesn't do anything. There's search, which if I can switch my calculator, there you go. Um, we do have some visual glitches here and there, but that's fine. And also with this version of start, you can drag from the top down and then you see this. Back to the charms, we have Sare. So if I want to share my, oh. Okay, well, explore it crashed. So, good luck trying to share a file because you can't share in this build of Windows 8. This build tends to be broken sometimes. So in order to fix that, you have to log out and log back in because, well, the Metro stuff doesn't work anymore. Oh yeah, we have the new control alt delete thingy. So back to the Metro apps, we also, have a very primitive settings app which looks like this so we got the time we got the wireless on and off even though we don't even have wireless on this computer and a dedicated section for volume time zone there you go um ease of use you can turn up high contrast there you go you can turn that off you can turn that off there we go um Connections, flight mode, all that stuff. Sprint, even though that's not my phone carrier and Sprint no longer exists anymore. Thank you, T-Mobile and Sprint Merger for that. Uh, Bluetooth, GPS, all that stuff. And there's the devices there. Desktop CPL opens up the desktop uh, control panel. So there's that. Last but not least, there's a webcam. It looks different compared to the other builds. Uh, webcam settings, change the brightness, even though I don't have a camera connected to this computer, all that stuff. Uh, application settings, webcam, nothing, audio source, microphone, resolution, doesn't do anything. Frame rate, doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. So, and yeah, we have the cat thing. Other than that, we have the same file explorer. And yeah, I forgot to mention that with this tile of the ribbon in a couple builds back, it does work now. But for some reason, uh, some of them doesn't, uh, well, some of them are grayed out. 
And for the recycle bin here, I can click on empty recycle bin and it does that. Remember about the whole pattern passwords, right? Well, guess what? It works in this build. So let me go ahead and showcase that right now. Of course, you need to type in password to save changes. All you need to do is to lock your computer. And now we have more login options and we can click on a grid for pattern passwords and look at that. It's like Simon says, but it's not that. So we can do this. Boom. And also place that login animation every single time you log into your computer. So let me do that again. Yeah, like that. Before we move on to the next build, the Microsoft out of box experience was modified a little bit. And since I'm running red pill, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, we got the nice um, that, this and that. And there it is. I'm gonna activate it. Ask me later. English United States. It's my locale. And another interesting thing is the MSOBE, if you don't have red pill enabled, when you first set the computer, we got arrow glass working, which is something that we don't see in later builds because either for compatibility reasons or performance issues. Also, remember about this whole start screen thing and how we got the, um, the image here? Apparently, that's not what it originally looked like. I had to add a register value. Otherwise, you get this lovely screen. And I am sorry if you're watching this video at night time. And that wraps it up for this build of Windows 8. Next, we're going to be taking a look at build 7973. Oh, look at that. We have the new auto run window. And of course, we need a product key. So let's go ahead and click install and hopefully it doesn't break. There we go. We got the installing Windows 8 screen this time itself. Oh, sorry, an error occurred. Oh, this is interesting. We got a progress bar similar to that one build in Windows Longhorn. I forgot what build number it is, but there you go. So here we are on build 7973 and right off the bat we got the infamous crossword puzzle wallpaper. So as you can see, this is what it looks like without red pill. It looks like Windows 7 because Microsoft tried so hard to lock features behind a thing called red pill. But now I need to take the red pill again to get those features. So give me a minute. All right, after taking that pill and having that pill settle in, we should be able to see the new features. And there we go. We got the, well, apparently I got a new profile picture. So let me go and log in. This is our start screen. And as you can see, it does play a hover effect when you hover over them. So let's go to the desktop. There you go. And if you notice, we have a different animation this time. Look at that. Computer. But we still have this weird um, fly-in animation thing. So we got the Windows Explorer, computer, control pan, and my desktop. And as you can see here, I can right click and I can go ahead and make it smaller. Looks, looks like that. Unfortunately, you cannot drag those tiles in this build yet. And this is control path. So as you can see here, it's beginning to slowly take shape of Windows 8. Uh, make it easier to read. Oh yeah, you cannot like toggle. You have to either click that or click that or drag it like that. And everything's big for some reason. All wireless. All wireless communication is disabled on. What? What? Apparently in this build, this control panel has it where off is on and on is off. And we have the desktop control panel, which opens up the standard control panel. So let's go ahead and take a look at the charms. So if we were to like, you know, do this thing here, like if you like pull it out here, as you can see here, it plays this animation here. Uh, we can go ahead and switch the app to the control panel or to the desktop. Here's something that's interesting. So if you were to like invoke the charms, we on switch and then you see this check box here. If we click on that, look what happens. We have 
a very very uh, comically small control app here um, so this is pretty much an early version of split screen pretty nice of course when you pull down you get this um, other programs here and all that stuff you can still search for an application that works but plays a by placing animation this time instead of having it like appear out of nowhere unfortunately with this program you cannot pin it to the, uh, the start screen but we also have a new app it's called MS help oh I apparently don't have um, access to this thing other than that this build is slowly beginning to take shape of what Windows 8 is going to be oh and if you're asking the screen reader is deleted Webcam is not there, and there's um, the Mixel Internet Explorer here. Switch app to desktop, and then I can have. Apparently, we have an app here, but apparently it's gone. Uh, so we can have control panel, and it looks like you could um, rearrange them. Yeah, you can rearrange them here and there, but apparently that app is. Not there for some reason, but all in all, that wraps it up for this build of Windows 8, aka build 7973. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at build 8056. So, this is the build 8056 setup window, which is calling itself the Windows Developer Preview. That's right, we're entering the developer preview stage of Windows 8. So, right now, it is uh, exactly my PC. But there's a slow stopper because the screen doesn't progress further. So unfortunately, the the new setup doesn't work, so we have to go to the old way. Ah, oh, this looks oddly similar to what we have so far. And we need our product key. Ooh, what do we have here? It's the bed office. And look at that, it actually greets you instead of having the Windows logo and the spinner thing. And it's still preparing. That's good to know. Also, I find it funny that this green looks kind of oddly similar to Windows 11's getting system ready, all that stuff. Get ready, get set, go. And there goes the better fist. What is this, a marathon? So, oh, okay. Uh, this doesn't look normal. Um, apparently, that's the Windows 7, so what you call it? Um, background and background, but, uh, so let's go ahead and finish this uh, out-of-box experience, and, uh, do you want tech or tech? I'm gonna go with that one. So we got a different wallpaper this time. We need to rerun Red Pill again. Fantastic. So then we're going to do that. And here we are. Welcome to the new lock screen, which looks similar to Windows 8's lock screen. So as you can see, we got this weird artwork choice. And this build, you can't click to have it go away. You either have to drag it up or press the spacebar, like that. Then you can go in and type in your password. And look at that, we got the new familiar start screen. And with this build, you can now pick up a tile and move it around and all that stuff. And there are some maps I want to show you later, so let's click on desktop. Here we are, we're on the desktop, and as you can see, we can take shape, we get the ribbon bar, and we have proper icons for the um, the explorer window. And as you can see, the um, arrow looks a lot different compared to the last previous builds. Actually, it kind of looked like what we have in Windows 8, but we don't have the glass effects because, well, apparently Microsoft disabled that in the uh, full release of Windows 8. Same control panel, all this and that. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the apps. So let's take a look at the store. Pix is, well, I'm not connected to the internet and for some reason, um, my network adapter is not working in this build. Also, the ability to close out with all the four does not work in this build. You remember the charms that comes from the right side of the screen? Well, if you move your mouse to the uh, left corner, left bottom corner, you get a miniaturized charm here, so you can start from here. So that store, let's take a look at control panel. And your panel is beginning to look like what we have on Windows 8. We got activate windows, personalization, 
Luckily, since um, the activate Windows block doesn't work, we can go ahead and uh, change our or change our personalizations. So we can have that as the uh, lock screen. And for the start menu, I can have it blue, green, red, orange, all that stuff. But I want blue. Let's do that. Unfortunately, for the changes to take effect, you have to log out and log back in. And there you go. It's my start. All that stuff. Also, there's a button here. So if we click on that, we got the expand view of our uh, start screen. And you can drag this around and move that. That was weird, this and that. You can right click on it, give it a new name, so like step in, uh, group. And then we click on that. There we go, this new group here. For the all apps here, it, we can actually pin to our start screen. So let's pin command prompt. Let's pin Windows kernel. Remote desktop connection. We can see, we can move around and align them. So let's put that there. Let's put it up here. And let's give you a group name. So let's call you junk because it is junk. There you go. So we take a look at control panel. This is Serena Explorer. And I would love to demo this to you, but unfortunately my network adapter does not work in this build. If you want to get more options, you have to right click and there you go, you can make a new tab and other things like that. We can pin, pin start. And since we've um, uh, pinned the tab in this in Internet Explorer. It opens up it's an explorer. Oh what um uh oh oh wait uh, okay uh, okay um I don't know what that was. So that's your explorer, that's remote desktop. And I would demo this to you, but guess what my network adapter isn't working. So that's show panel and explorer remote desktop. Where's my desktop shortcut? Apparently it vanished. So yeah, uh this build beginning to take shape on oh, this net. Also, uh, if you hold down the control key and use your scroll wheel, you can zoom in, zoom out, and like like that. Holding on the Windows key and I opens up the sending chair for the desktop. So I can click here and I don't have network here. I can also turn off notifications, change the volume, like that. Um, the sun is not available. Power, you can save, set that restore, and then you can change the language. Well, not really. Before I go, I want to demo Snap. Yeah, that's right. There's Snap in this build. So as you can see, I just took the uh, the desktop from the uh, the left side, and I can dock it on either the right side or the left side. Uh, you cannot close the app for now, but you can dock it from here. And since I don't have any running applications on my desktop, we can just simply do this. And there we go. I have my desktop and control panel. So if I have a remote desktop here, I can um, lock you on this side and uh, grab you. I put it over here. And there you go. Uh, I've got the remote desktop. But other than that, it's um, beginning to slowly take shape to you the final build of Windows 8. Speaking about that, the next build we're going to be taking a look at is build 8102, which was a similar build that was showcased in the Microsoft Build 2011 developer conference. So without further ado, let's take a look at that. As you can see, we got the notification here, and apparently it's all glitchy at the moment, but there you go. We're going to install, so let's install. Ah, oh, we don't have the better fits anymore. Now we have the boring old Windows developer preview text as our boot logo. So this is build 8102 and right off the bat it looks looking final, yes. And here we are, welcome to the lock screen. Um, as you can see here, it's looking like Windows 8 actually. Of course, if you want to unlock, you have to either Press the spacebar or press the escape and then now enter your password. And as you can see here, welcome to the start screen with all the uh, pre installed apps provided by Microsoft. Well, this build in particular is kind of similar to what Microsoft sold at the Microsoft um, build event. So as you can see here, you can go ahead and realign them and this and that. And we will definitely be taking a look at some of the apps here. So let's go on the desktop and and right the back, we have the Windows 7 uh, lock screen image as the wallpaper. And we also noticed that the, um, the start button looks flat now. It's not like using the Windows 7's orb. 
and it's just apps list so you can do that and this and that so yeah this is the start screen so let's take a look at the store and the store is not available in the developer pr preview program so that's the store this is in explorer and i look stuff and this is the control panel so for this part you can only change the lock screens but i can't because i didn't activate this middle windows uh let's take a look at stocks which we're not even connected to internet because this uh, vm cannot detect my network card for some reason this twitterama log in doesn't work well good idea here's the socialize app here's the weather application and there's microsoft build and uh well i would sign in but i can't because i don't have network in this thing we also have five which is oh it's a game uh so so like reversey something like that or something similar maybe Oh, I see. So you need to get like a five in a row or something like that. I, right, I'm, I'm bad at this game, but you get the idea. That's five. Here's piano. And since we have the ability to uh, dock app, so we can do that here. And there's that. Uh, let's take a look at uh, paint play. So yeah, you can uh, do that and then paint all that stuff. And it's pretty nice. Next is the Labyrinth app. What's this? Oh. So is it like... Oh, wait, wait, wait! What? How do you do this game? So you have to like, touch... Thing to get... I... Guess? Start up? Okay. Whoa, what's this? Oh, uh, so we have to like color these blocks, I guess, before we get to the finish, maybe? What is this, Splatoon? And of course, it cannot really close the app. How do I. Wait, levels? Alright, there. Um, Mopod. Wait, it doesn't do anything. Because, uh, I'm not connected to the internet, so that's Mopod. Tire puzzle. Oh god, yeah, it's that one puzzle game. Mm-hmm. That's what I remember. I am not good with- I am not good at this game, so... New app. Near me. Near me is loading. What's this? What is this, a dating app? And oh! I noticed it, I also noticed that the uh, live tile is updated, so if I were to like do this and do that, like scramble this and that, go to start. A third update. Maybe not. Pick stream. Oh. It's an online service. Zero gravity. Oh, start. Okay, what do I do with this game? Do we have to like... What? I, okay, so you have to. Oh, so you have to. Ah, uh, okay, so I see how this is. Um, uh, if I go here, I okay, I just teleport it. Okay, don't do that. There we go. This one. What's this? Oh, I see. Yeah, you get the idea. That's how do I how do I close this app? I don't know. So that's zero gravity. Uh, measure it. Uh, how do I like? All right, so I have to measure stuff. How big or how long is this sofa? Uh, let's do inches. So 170 inches. There you go. So that is measure it. Alarms. You can add an alarm. All that stuff, I guess. Oh look, there's three hour stampedo. Wave one. Okay. Use the letters to make a word. 
So we have to like type in something that uses the the letters S D L. Oh, there's my alarm. Okay, well I have to go to work. But but I um oh what what is happening? Uh, wait, why did I get logged out? Okay, thanks a lot, alarms for logging me out of my computer. Okay, so oh yeah, it's like it's like yes. Yep, that's how I remember. That's how I remember chess. And I lost. Oh well. And this remote desktop so you can connect to your computer that I can't connect to. Uh, this memory, so life book. Wait a minute. Who are these people? These aren't my family members. Yeah, you see the problem with Windows 8, right? It's confusing to navigate this operating system. Like you get this interface that takes up the whole screen and it's ideal for touch, not keyboard and mouse. And if I didn't know how to use Windows 8, I would definitely be stuck here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, look at the stock photos and all this and that. So that is Memories, your life book. Build the tube ahead of Johnny. So we have to like... How does this work? How does this work? Oh, it's like... It's just like pipe dream? Ah, uh, okay. Why does it look like it reminds me of this uh, one flash game? Okay, okay, okay. How do I how do I close this? Johnny says good job. What do you mean I closed the app? All right, and we got Word Hunt, the app that was showcased in the Microsoft Build event. So we can just do that, and this time we can make a word. So so we can make hall. Yeah, hall is a word. All is a word. Nope, space. There you go. Can right click and ink here on like stuff. So that is note space flashcards. I used to remember using flashcards at school when we had to like do testing. Uh, we had to like write down the question or something like that, and then write down the answer on the other side, and you had to. Uh, one. Good times. One. 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 Two. One. Two. One, two, three. Yep, there you go. Oh, ink pad. So yeah, uh, this is ink pad. You can like do that and let's make high. All right, recognize. Uh, select maybe. And recognize. Apparently, apparently it says we. Eat. How do you even pronounce that? Okay, now you need to select and recognize. Hey, look at that, it worked this time. Next, we're gonna take a look at Sudoku. Tap for new game. Uh, Microsoft, this isn't work. Oh, wait, that's right. This isn't a touchscreen monitor. Ah, <sighs> I, 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 okay, I am so sorry for saying this, but I do not have, I don't know how to play Sudoku, but yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Incorrect gameplay. So you have to click that and click that maybe. I don't know how that works, but okay. Uh, Copper. Welcome to Copper. This tutorial will teach you what you need to know to become an expert navigator to this unusual world. Type anywhere on the screen to continue. But I don't have a touchscreen monitor. Swipe over the robot in the direction you want to go to. So like this. Ah. Okay. You can rotate the gear of the board, and I'll drag it to it. Oh, there it is. Here you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So I had to get to the end, I think. No. What? Come on. Go over there. Go. Go over there and go to that star. Yeah, fireworks. But yeah, you get the idea, X. Yep, there you go. X. That's copper. Oh, aircraft. Mm. Yeah, this is my paper airplane. Uh, view instructions? Oh, wait. So this is an app? So you're telling me, Microsoft, that the reason why you include this app is to teach people how to make airplanes? Is that why? Is that all? Why is it because it uses 3D rendering? 
Ugh, I don't understand. And last but not least, we got Bitbox. Or whatever that's. Oh, go. Uh, is this like a music jukebox, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. I think it's the. Oh, I see. Ah, so that's how you do this thing. Maybe I could try and make some music using Bitbox on my TechnoJunk channel, maybe, one day. Oh, okay. How about this one? Okay. Yes, look at that. Next piano. Try. Yeah, there you go. Let's try and go. Uh, Sawtooth. What's this? Yeah, that's that. Uh, drums. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, I don't know why this sound is not even like that. But, uh, if I want to make an actual music with this thing. Uh, uh, saxophone. <laughs> uh, pulse. I just gotta do the do do do. <laughs> yes, what does that sound like? Okay, stop playing that. Um, and sine wave. Yep, there you go. And that's most of the apps here. So, oh yeah, this is uh, Windows uh, 8 build 8102, which came with pre-installed applications where developers can uh, try it out. And, this isn't an internal build. We don't have the uh, unauthorized use disclaimer. So yeah, that wraps it up for build 8102. And last but not least, we're gonna be taking a look at build 8250, which is the consumer uh, preview version of Windows 8. So let's take a look at that now. Uh, DVD drive and yeah, the auto run looks final for Windows 8. And look at that, we got the new infamous flag, Windows 8 Consumer Preview, which is the last development build that I'll be taking a look before we go to the RTM build of Windows 8. Hmm, let me type in the product key. Uh, I have the license agreement. No, I don't. Just personal files. So you cannot upgrade to the Consumer Preview from a Developer Preview. We don't get all those fancy apps uh, being ported to the consumer preview, unfortunately. So, well, it's been nice playing with some of those apps over there, but I gotta continue. Hello again, Flat Beta Fist. How are you doing today? Here we are. This is build 8250, the consumer preview of Windows 8. Right off the bat, we have our slider to pick a color so we can pick from gray. Blue, white stuff, red. I'll do blue. Uh, let's do like rust settings. And I need to enter my password. And you notice that my default profile picture is the final one. And since we did a clean install, well, yeah, kind of did a clean install, I need to reinstall the driver. So give me a minute. So this is the lock screen. Um, which final, and of course, you need to either try it up or press a key to log in. And there's the familiar start screen. Look at that. So we got the store, Xbox Live games, all that stuff. Let's open the store. Which doesn't seem to work because I don't have um, internet connected to the computer. So as you can see here, we have all those uh, 
beta apps that, were, that came pre-installed with the system. Got maps, internet explorer, video, uh, photos, uh huh, messaging, mail, weather, calendar, people. Pinball, which is a game, I think. Yep, it came with a game on this thing. So yeah, it's pinball. Okay. Oh, all right. So wait, what's the source on this thing? Is it? There we go. Uh, okay, how do I shoot? Do I like? Oh, okay. I guess that works then. And I guess the flippers are either the right. Of uh, control or left control. So yeah, we got pinball. Where could Whisper be? Why are you asking me? I don't know. So yeah, that is a quick game of pin. And I lost. Leaving so soon. Shut up. And yeah, Alt F4 works now, so you can close the app just fine with Alt F4. And uh, visit ESRB. And there you go, the solitaire. Camera, which I don't have a camera connected to the computer, so we cannot really take a picture. Xbox companion. Music. Sky Drive, which was later renamed to OneDrive because that one company, Sky, got so triggered, very triggered, and they forced Microsoft to change the name to OneDrive. Remote desktop, finance, that thing. Reader. Hey, look at that. It's the reader app. Um, that was showcased long ago. And there you go. There's the reader app. And our desktop with the very flat and very basic Betafist. Look at that. And this should be the last uh, build that I'll be showing with the uh, arrow with the glass effects here. That is that. But we do have new stock photos this time. With automatic color changing, too. There have been improvements to the charms, which look final. Look at that. Here's PC settings. Looks exactly like Windows 8. I would pick a uh, different um, style wallpaper here, but I'm not activated, unfortunately, so I can't do that. So, yeah, that is a closer look at build 8250, the consumer preview build of Windows 8. Now, we are going to install the RTM release of Windows 8. After your PC is ready, move your mouse to any corner. Any corner? The fact is, it's only showcasing how to open the challenge menu for some reason. That's it. Let's start. Hey, haven't I said that already? So yeah, this is RTM Windows 8 and the resolutions are wonky, so I need to fix that real quick. Ah, that looks a lot better. So yeah, this is the RTM release of Windows 8 and we have all the final apps on that running, all that good stuff. And also, snapping works in this build. There's that. You can close the app here, you can sign dock it there, you can do that. So any corner, right? How about the bottom right corner? Operates up the charms. That corner apps start and the funny thing is when Windows 8 first came out we open up an app you have nowhere to close this app oh except for you must appear that's only get and say that thing but people doesn't know how to like drag it down and this and I'm like okay how do I get out of here how do I get out of this app <laughs> right but other than that this is the RTM release of Windows 8 and that's how we got from the basic Windows 7 interface to what we have now. It's interesting to say the least that we've gone from screwmorphic design to complete flat design that's fit for tux and doesn't play well with mouse and keyboard. But yeah, this is Windows 8 RTM. It's pretty much a controversial release of Windows at that time. 
Considering the fact that Windows 8 was focused towards touch instead of keyboard and mouse, all that stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this video of me exploring many development builds of Windows 8. So yeah, that wraps it up for this video. As always, thanks for watching. And now, enjoy some bloopers. The last noteworthy feature is with group policy. So if I were to open, if I know how to spell group policy correctly. Under the administrative template, right click on it and click on filter options. Then scroll down and then you see Windows 8 after enabling requirement filters first. Multiple taskbars on multiple monitors. So let me go ahead and extend the monitor. Well, that didn't work for some reason. So let's go ahead and extend the monitor, but, um, oh crap. There's my new wallpaper. There's my wallpaper. It works now. So let me lock the computer. Let me lock the computer. Lock PC. Ugh. I guess that doesn't work apparently. Okay, fine. I gotta use the control of the leak screen then. Oh, what? I came in control of the leak. What is going on here? I came in control of the leak. God, that took forever. Oh my gosh. Oh. What? Hello? Hello? Paste in your PDF link and press enter and voila! Oh no! The reader app crashed. That's not where it's supposed to happen. Oh crap. Enable or disable VM. Oh. Never mind. Apparently, doing that crashes task manager. <laughs> oh boy. Last but not least, there's a new program called SysReset to set up a picture password. Not a picture password, I mean a pattern password. Ugh. And all you need to do is lock your computer. Not my look. Way of installing Windows by going to. I didn't click on anything, but whatever. Um, okay, fine. Ugh. So let's take a look at the control panel. Oh, let's take a look at the control panel. Oh, uh, that, okay, we're in the store. All right, fine, crash that way. Here, start, and um, the ability to, oh, shoot. So I'm having problems with this build. It seems to, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not having luck with this. Yep, okay, this should hopefully, Never mind, it doesn't work. 